Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. We've got some more breaking news today regarding the future of Call of Duty. And I swear, someone out there just has like a detector and they know that if I'm about to sit down and say, okay, I've got my videos done for the next couple of days, I'm gonna relax. They send out some breaking news because it happens all the time. But today we got some brand new information on a Black Ops 2 sequel that just based on the leaks alone already sounds very very promising so some surprising news for sure but as we get into the details here if you enjoy the video do me a favor drop a like much love as always to everyone who does take the time to do so and of course if you're new to the channel or you have not subscribed yet this is your one-stop shop for all things going on in cod i got you covered on a daily basis with all the news updates patch notes meta breakdowns it's all right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications now this information is stemming initially from insider gaming but charlie intel has posted sort of corroborating this and whenever charlie intel is posting about news or leaks or rumors usually it's with very credible backed up sources as well and insider gaming run by tom henderson also about as credible as it gets when it comes to insider information so breaking Call of Duty 2025 is reportedly set to be a direct sequel to Black Ops 2 set in the near future of 2030. It'll reportedly have a mix of new multiplayer maps and remastered Black Ops 2 maps. It'll also have updates to movement, pick 10 and around base zombies map now there's a lot more new details to break down from the insider gaming article that we'll check out here momentarily but you may recall that just a few weeks back insider gaming and charlie intel sort of corroborated on some other leaks regarding call of duty 2024 being gulf war the potential of having zombies early access multiple weeks out and then campaign early access and then the full launch this is now stacking right on top of it and uh well just brings even more hype to the idea of back-to-back CODs here with a lot of highly highly requested features pick 10 returning movement updates round based zombies coming right off the most developed cod ever in cod 2024 so this is the exclusive article from insider gaming and tom henderson who like i said is extremely credible with his insider info cod 2025 is a semi-futuristic black ops 2 sequel currently known under the code name saturn insider gaming has learned from multiple sources that call of duty 2025 is set to take players back to the future and no i don't mean we'll be soon playing as marty mcfly and doc but instead cod 2025 is slated to be set in the very slight future call of duty has not had a game set in the future since black ops 4. insider gaming understands that cod 2025 is currently in development as a direct sequel to black ops 2 being set around 2030 black ops 2 obviously was set in 2025 as such fans should expect the return of some fan favorite protagonists as the team faces a new villain following the death of menendez spoiler alert if you haven't played black ops 2 by now uh as previously rumored black ops 2 remastered maps some of the all-time goat maps that we've ever had slums raids so on and so forth will be coming to the game but recent plans and the scope of the game have changed significantly Previously, the intention was to have all of the Black Ops 2 remastered maps release on launch, similar to how Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps came back this year in Modern Warfare 3. So essentially, COD 2025 was going to be almost like a DLC style game for COD 2024, bringing back all the original BO2 maps, and that'd be the initial launch content. However, the current plan is to now launch with new maps and remastered maps in conjunction, which I think is really cool. So we'll have some of those classic BO2 maps mixed in there, but then also a bunch of new unique maps as well. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. That was obviously a big complaint this year. Hey, you know, MW2 maps are great, but what about some new content? Well, this is directly attacking that. Although only one source would comment on the change, it was speculated that the game was likely in response to the widespread fan criticism that painted Modern Warfare 3 as a glorified DLC even though it's got all the content as a full game that was obviously a big thing going around this year is MW3 a DLC uh, Modern Warfare 3 just had 16 months of development thanks to the lack of higher up planning and internal changes that led Sledgehammer Games to be under immense pressure but still deliver a title that functions better than the last couple of ones on half the uh, production time the final product resulted in a game with 16 remastered MW2 maps on launch and a campaign that only lasted a few hours definitely the biggest disappointment of the entire game Despite the game's apparent shortcomings, though, it's been said that the game did tremendously well, with Infinity Ward already well into development on its next Modern Warfare game, and this article, the, all these leaks would indicate that that's for Call of Duty 2026. So, for those of you who feel burned by Infinity Ward, 
2026 is the next time we're seeing something from them reportedly uh speaking of other specific details on cod 2025 which are heavily in flux due to the game's early stage of development obviously things can change between now and 2025 believe it or not it's understood that the game is also slated to have an overhaul to its movement system the return of the classic pick 10 created class the gunfight game mode and another year of round based zombies it's currently unclear if the carry forward from cod 2024 aka gulf war is going to be incorporated due to the significant time jump and change uh this is a completely new game uh it was it was said suggesting that the game may not with black ops 2 being one of the series best selling games to date officially selling just shy of 30 million units it makes sense that activision will once again capitalize on that nostalgia so there are a few unclear things here despite this being a crazy amount of very significant details one the developer now that said i'd have to imagine considering this is following directly up on cod 2024 which is a treyarch title and it's taking place as a sequel for black ops 2 treyarch is probably also working on this at least to some extent obviously cod 2024 black ops gulf war is like i mentioned earlier the most developed cod game ever it's going to be a four-year development it's quite possible that within this four years they found themselves you know polishing up black ops gulf war and i'm sure they're still working on it to this day you know uh getting things ready for launch and making it the best possible game they can but then it's like hey you know we're looking to the future cod 2025 Previously, if you may recall, uh, there were rumors that COD 2025 was going to be just a DLC for Black Ops Gulf War, and we'd have a true two-year title there in Black Ops Gulf War. Clearly, these leaks would indicate otherwise. COD 2025 is a brand new game, but heavily influenced by Black Ops 2. It's also important to note the whole carry forward thing obviously was a thing this year and it led to a lot of, uh, you know, overwhelming situations. If you were a new player for MW3, having 70 plus MW2 guns available, all the operators, so much content there that then creates weird situations with balancing and having to update way more weapons or having to get all those weapons ready for launch. It seems like if we're going from a Gulf War based game in the 90s to a game that's in 2030, It'd be weird to have all that content carry over just from a realistic and situational standpoint why are we using all these guns from gulf war in a futuristic game so that to me almost seems like carry forward really was just a thing this year just because it was a direct sequel to the game from last year even though these could in theory both be treyarch titles it being a you know a sequel to black ops 2 and not a sequel to gulf war would you know leave some uh you know situations there where it just wouldn't make sense to have that carry forward update but very surprising news regardless and to me i feel like the future looks very promising obviously it's call of duty there's going to be drama involved there's going to be controversies involved i'm sure there will be more leaks in the future saying hey you know there's this rushed thing happening right now or something else will arise that'll you know have players saying oh it's going to be a it's going to be doomed from the get-go because that's just the cod community always looking for something to you know call out right but we're going from this year's COD, which is by far the most interactive and community engaged that we've seen any COD dev in years with Sledgehammer and Raven so far, to COD 2024, the most developed and most polished in theory game that we've ever seen in COD history, to COD 2025, which is now focused on bringing back some of the most highly requested features in Call of Duty ever. So surprising but definitely exciting at the same time obviously it's so far out though that it just kind of is what it is but that being said that is going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and of course if you're new here you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with all things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out